Have you ever wondered if Animal Crossing New Horizons is really worth the money? Animal Crossing New Horizons is a game that is designed to be relaxing, take things one day at a time, and provide a super customizable game experience for each player. In this video, we're going to cover 15 things that you should know before you buy Animal Crossing New Horizons. I originally purchased the game on its release date in March of 2020. I've been playing the game non-stop for over the course of about 3 months, and I felt like I had enough experience to give an honest review of the game. So without further ado, here are 15 talking points that you should know before buying Animal Crossing New Horizons. The pace of Animal Crossing New Horizons is purposely designed to be slow. It's designed to be a relaxing experience for each player while still keeping things interesting from day to day. As you play the game, you will find that many of the in-game tasks take a full real-world day to complete. For example, a bridge being built to traverse over the waterway will not be completely built until the next day. And many things such as bridges, inclines, and housing upgrades are all examples of things that are going to take a little more time to complete. Since the game progresses slowly and is in sync with the real-world time, seasons and hemispheres do have an effect on gameplay. For example, as you travel through various seasons, the leaves and grass will turn brown for the fall, and there's a chance of snow on the ground in the colder months. As for the weather patterns, they are frequently changing to help add to the unique experience of the game. The time settings also impact the game experience by providing sunrises, sunsets, and an occasional meteor shower. The currency used in-game is known as bells. There is an additional currency used called Nook Miles, which is gained by performing various island tasks and is used for a wide variety of purchases. Bells can be traded with other players, however Nook Miles cannot. It's a common practice to purchase Nook Mile tickets for trade instead. Regardless, there's plenty of opportunities to build your bank account with both currencies if you're willing to do the work. When you start the game, you will first be introduced to a deserted island life. You'll need to build all of your tools and items required for further progression in the game. One of the first things that you'll find yourself doing is shaking trees and collecting fallen sticks on the ground so that you can craft axes for chopping wood or perhaps a fishing rod to catch fish. You will eventually progress through the game and can simply buy the most commonly used tools such as the fishing rod, shovel, and the bug catching net. As you play the game, you will be no stranger to the occasional balloon floating by or the random message in a bottle laying on your beach. New Horizons gives you the opportunity to learn new DIY recipes, receive a small amount of bells, or crafting supplies with the balloon. And the message bottles on the beach may shine new light to some new DIY crafting recipes. Animal Crossing New Horizons is big on the do-it-yourself lifestyle. Something worth pointing out is the DIY aspect of the game and how each recipe requires a certain amount of supplies, which can be found on your island, to craft each item. Crafting these DIY recipes helps decorate your island and provides a boost to your island star rating, which ultimately helps you progress through the game. Island customization is a large part of Animal Crossing New Horizons. In fact, many would agree that this is the best part about the game since it allows for every island to be unique. Once you have enough progress in the game, you will unlock the ability to perform terraforming on your island. This unlocks the ability to build up or down the terrain, and even build ponds or reroute rivers altogether. Additionally, unlocking terraforming also includes the ability to pave your pathways with various patterns such as brick, rock, sand, and more. The ability to travel to others' islands can be a lot of fun when playing New Horizons. You can utilize local Wi-Fi connections to connect to other Nintendo Switch devices for island collaboration. Or, you can purchase a Nintendo Online membership and connect through the internet to other players' islands. This feature is a much needed benefit to help collaborate within the Animal Crossing community and it provides a pathway to new island customization ideas, trading of items, obtaining different villagers, and much more. The game supports a max of 8 players living on the same island and supports a max of 8 players visiting the same island through local co-op or online multiplayer. However, only four players can play at the same time while on a single system, also known as couch co-op. 
Island customization with unique environments is a big plus in Animal Crossing New Horizons. The ability for you to purchase or craft various items and placing them throughout your island to create a unique setup is a majority loved feature. Whether it's creating your own beach paradise with beach chairs or developing your own luscious forest with a grassy walkway leading up to a villager's house, the customization options are nearly endless. Many Animal Crossing fans would agree that villager hunting is one of the more popular pastimes for the game series. Like many of the former Animal Crossing games, Animal Crossing New Horizons provides a wide variety of villager species to choose from. As of June 2020, the game includes 391 villagers with a large variety of species and personality types. There's a favorite villager for everyone. Along with the customizable islands, the game offers an extensible amount of custom clothes to purchase from the shops, from visiting characters, or by obtaining them seasonally. Additionally, the game provides a mechanic to allow for creating custom patterns for clothes with hats, dresses, and shirts. While you can create your own custom designs and patterns, the game allows for other players to share their patterns with others that are connected with the Nintendo Online membership. Many Animal Crossing New Horizon players have spent extensive amounts of time hunting for all the various flower types in the game. In addition to the base flower species such as roses and tulips, each flower breed has hybrid flower colors and they can only be obtained through special flower breeding patterns and you must combine certain colors together. As for the trees, there are several various fruit trees that are available for players that help add to the variety for each island to enjoy. Additionally, the fruit from the trees are no waste. The fruit is a substance that can be used to help break rocks or move trees around the island. Nintendo has opted in for updating the game for at least three years. They have mentioned in a press release that they would continually provide events, updates, feature enhancements, and bug fixes for up to three years. So as we have already seen within the first couple of months of the release date, Nintendo has strived to meet this need. They have made several enhancements and provided players with fresh content through various events, museum expansions, and adding additional visiting characters. As you may already know, catching bugs and fish is a big part of the Animal Crossing franchise. New Horizons provides the same gameplay as it did in previous releases of the Animal Crossing series. Each bug and fish species has a set schedule to appear throughout the year, so as the real world progresses, so do the bugs and fish species that are showing up on your island. The object, while adding to the scenery of the game, is to collect each one and store them in the museum for live display. In addition, two visiting characters known as Flick and CJ will visit your island occasionally and either buy your bugs and fish at a higher price, or you can collect a model of the particular bug or fish by submitting three of the same kind to the visiting character. Throughout the gameplay of New Horizons, and similar to former games of the series, various visiting characters will arrive on your island for a variety of goods to purchase. There are too many of them to mention here, but some characters, as mentioned before, are specific to bugs and fish, while some of the others will arrive to sell unique clothing or mysterious rugs and wallpapers. One of the characters returning to New Horizons is known as Red. He's a traveling merchant that sells rare art including paintings and statues. It's up to you to determine if they're real or not. Mystery Island Tours should be sought after for any new player to Animal Crossing New Horizons. The island Tours are used for various things, such as collecting resources for various crafting projects, or hunting for villagers to come live with you on your island. There are several different islands to help add to the variety of the adventure, and you can travel as often as you'd like, as long as you have enough currency to do so. All in all, Animal Crossing New Horizons offers a wide variety of island customizations, character customizations, and a large selection of villagers to stay with you on your island. The game offers many hours of gameplay, and Nintendo has opted in for providing new content through various updates for the next three years. With all the customizations, future release enhancements, accompanied by a slow-paced island adventure, you may decide that Animal Crossing New Horizons is worth the buy.
take a look at one of my other Animal Crossing how-to videos that are on the screen right now. And also don't forget to check out my channel and subscribe.